Welcome back to Spinning the Past. So today I'm going to talk a bit about um, how to use a drop spindle. This is one that I have. I have many, many drop spindles, but this I see I already have some uh, on here, some yarn. I'm just trying to pick this up and I thought since I'm picking it up, I might as well show you. So the the I guess the mechanics of it is that, remember, this is just a twisting machine. That's it. It's just, it's like a top. You think of it like a top. It needs to spin like a top. And the direction I go for my singles is this direction, which is a clockwise direction, which is a Z direction. So just get that going. Okay, so if you are new to drop spindles, you can um, attach a leader on here, which is just a, a thread or a, a already an, another yarn or something like that. Wrap, tie it onto here, and then you can get going. Now, what I'm using is this. This is roving. And this particular breed is called South Down. And before you start, um, let me see if I can show it to you. Uh, be sure you kind of thin it out. This is called pre-drafting. Especially if you're a beginner, things are going to go really fast. This is going to get spun. And then at the same time, see my hand here, I'm going to be drafting. I'm going to be drafting, drafting, drafting. While this is spinning in one direction. So there comes a point when this spins in this direction and it stops. Uh, then it will automatically start going the opposite direction. Don't let that happen because it will unspin what you just spun. And usually that's when the drop spindle earns its name as a drop spindle. So I'm going to get it going. And I'm going to show you my drafting. Just draft, 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 draft. There's really not much to it. I pinch. Can you see it? I pinch right there. So I've got this is twisted. This is not twisted. They don't meet. Yeah, there are, see, there are little pigtails in it. That's okay. okay. I wind it on. This particular spindle has a little notch here. If you can see it, there's a little notch. You see, there's a little notch there, which is great for putting that on. And I uh, loop it up again. So again, this is just a, just a really basic, basic, basic. I do offer a class on drop spindle. You get two hours of uh, personal instruction with me. There you go. See it spin, see it spin, see it spin, see it spin, see it spin. I'm gonna pinch it off, let it finish spinning. I'm gonna take it. I'm holding it down for at your level so you can see. Hook it up again. I'm going to see if I can get my hands down lower so you can actually see the drafting. I'm just pulling out, pulling out, pulling out, pulling out till I have enough or it's going to fall on the floor. I pinch right here. I pinch it. Grab my spindle and I wind it. See the cop? So I go winding down this way and winding up that way. It helps maintain this to spin. You don't want it to kind of bobble up and down. You want it to be exactly like a top. You know, a top spins on its axis. And uh, it doesn't go bobble, bobble until it loses inertia. But this is her drop spindle. So again, this is just a um, little introduction. I'm drafting, 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 drafting. Just a little, little taste of what it's like on a drop spindle. These are pretty inexpensive. This was a little bit more pricey because this is um, made by a, a, a professional woodworker. But you can get used drop spindles. You can get all kinds of uh, all kinds of drop spindles. Very reasonable. If you're a beginning spinner, this is a great tool because it's it's slow enough that you can work on your hand movements 
before you get onto a wheel. The wheel requires kind of like a piano. You have to do your hands and your feet at the same time. And just, if you feel a bit like a monkey when you do that. But if you just have a drop spindle like this, then you can learn to control your hand movements. Remember, I keep saying the spinning is between your fingers. This is where yarn is made. It's you making um, making sure that it is uh, the same amount of fibers with the same amount of twist over, over the same length. That's what makes consistency. Uh, this is portable. You take it with you. I take this with me often and just have fun. Start, see whether spinning is something you can do. There's no counting stitches. There's no dropping stitches. You may drop your spindle, but that's okay. Um, they're, they're pretty tough. Give it a try uh, with a drop spindle. Give it a try to see whether you like spinning. Again, I do teach classes. You can contact me and we can set up a private uh, a private teaching session. Or now I also have group sessions. Uh, my teaching schedule is usually like uh, starting in May. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope this has been in uh, focused and everything. It's kind of hard to do and I kind of have to bend down to do this, but have any questions please send um please write your comments please give us a thumbs up and i hope that you brand new spinners out there will give spinning and, and a drop spindle a try all right i'll catch you next time on spinning the past